After Charlie's mother died unexpectedly, she spent an entire year learning her mother's secrets as she learned to sew 12 dresses. She thought there could be no more family secrets. She was wrong. Charlie has all but forgotten about the boxes and the rack of vintage dresses she stashed in a guest room closet until the day she's forced to clear it out for a renovation. What she uncovers first baffles her. There are eight exquisite vintage couture dresses and several boxes of peculiar antique books. And a diary, the diary meticulously kept for decades by her great-grandmother Franny Phillips, a great-grandmother Charlie had never met. Until now. The diary begins in 1912 as Franny and her parents are en route from London to New York City. It is April and the ship is the Titanic. After 12-year-old Franny and her parents survive what her mother begins to refer to as the incident, Franny finds that her life has taken on a new meaning. She is more determined than ever to follow her own path, fulfilling her dream to become a dressmaker and designer. But this is too common for her parents and their British upper-class taste. Driven by her desire to rebel against everything they represent, and a chance encounter on the train from Oxford to London with dashing American writer F. Scott Fitzgerald, Franny makes a single mistake that alters her life forever. She flees to Paris where she finds herself a job in the fashion world and meets an ambitious publisher, the dashing Jean-Christophe Lemieux. She is at once plunged into the clashing worlds of haute couture and literature. It is the Roaring Twenties and Franny wants nothing more than to be part of the parties, the dancing, the music, and to pursue a career. When she is faced with the ultimate choice between two very different life paths, she chooses the one that forces her into a life of secrecy, even as she moves between her Paris home, her family home in London, New York City, and ultimately Canada, where she realizes she has a second chance to make up for her mistakes. Franny Phillips always knew she would never find her life by searching for it, so she created it. She made her choices in life, then her choices made her. Join Charlie as she follows her great-grandmother's life from that fateful night in 1912 as the Titanic sinks, through two world wars and the roaring twenties, to the swinging sixties in the wilds of Canada. Together with Charlie, you'll begin to understand what Franny knew all along. You don't get the life you deserve. You get the life you create.